everybody, AJ Rizek here, and today we've got part two of our You Get tutorial. Now, if you didn't see part one, I will leave a link down below so you can take a look at that. Just kind of a quick summary of what went on in that video. We uh, we installed uh, You Get on Ubuntu 16.04, and then we set up Firefox integration, and uh, what else? And then we did some just some real basic downloads with it. Showed you the, the just the very basics of it. So. We're going to kind of move on, do a few more things today. First thing I'm going to show you how to do is using uh, UGET for downloading torrents. Now, uh, like I said before, we did last time we set up Firefox integration. So first I'll show you how to do it with the Firefox integration, and then, uh, and then I'll show you another method. So we're on the Ubuntu download page, and down here at the bottom they've got the BitTorrent downloads. So we're going to download one of those. Since we had the Firefox integration, all we need to do is, let's go, we'll, we'll do the Ubuntu server. We'll click on that. And then you get the little dialog box that pops open. And let's use FlashGot, which will allow us to use UGET. Click OK. You get this little dialog box here that pops open. Click OK. And boom it starts to download and not only will it download the the torrent file it will then continue on to download you know whatever it was that we that you know in this case we're downloading Ubuntu 1604 ISO it's going to continue on with downloading that ISO from that point now if you already have the torrent file downloaded uh, you can go and let's see we'll come up here to file and go to where it says new torrent and we'll go through our menu go to downloads and I've got the Ubuntu 1604 server torrent right here click OK and then you got this dialog box here boom and now it will go and download you know it is functioning just like you know any other uh, torrent downloader software the next thing we're going to do is do a batch download and there's a couple different ways that you can do that first well let me drag over let me grab uh, let me grab my text editor from over here and uh, drag it over to the other monitor okay so I've got a list of these three different uh, different files that I want to download so you can go and you can do a batch download from your clipboard so we'll just go and we selected them all do a copy and then you know when you when you're doing that most of the time it'll just immediately pop open and uh, and you get this little uh, this little dialog box that says you get right from the clipboard and then you know you'll get you just click OK and boom it'll start pulling those down if that little dialog box doesn't just automatically pop up you can go and come up here to file and batch download and then do clipboard batch so we've got that going on and I'm gonna go ahead and erase that just so I can do move on to my next demonstration uh, delete entry and file yes okay and let me grab that uh, text file again so you know like I said I've got this all in, a, in the text file you can go and do a batch file straight from a file so uh, let's go and we'll go to file batch downloads go to text file import and now it needs to be a text file so it can't be like a, a LibreOffice writer document or anything it's got to be you know uh, uh, a text file um, so let's see where did I put that um, yeah I think in here yeah there it is okay so select the file that you want click OK once again you get the import dialog box that pops open click OK and boom we're downloading again very easy to do so let me go and erase those again And then the final method I want to show you, file, batch download, 
and we'll do URL sequence batch. Now this one's kind of interesting. This one will work if you have a lot of files to download uh, and they are all in a sequence. So I'm just going to kind of make something up here. Let me go and pull over this URL again. Paste that in there. Okay, so let's say that this uh, that this ISO it ended in dash one, and there was a dash two, dash three, dash four, you know, and so on, all the way up to forty. Okay, so what we could do here is we would change this one to an asterisk. Okay. And so now right here in this dialog, it'll tell you from zero up to, okay, I said I want to go up to 40. So we'll just put 40 in there. And so it'll run it up to 40. And on digits, this is how many, um, essentially how many, uh, how many zeros you want to put in front of it. So if you get if you have two digits um, it will put a single zero in front of file one a single zero in front of file two and so on if you don't start with the with the zero you can just back this down to one and you can see you know it's starting you know it's just starts with just a single digit now it'll still move on up to like say you know we we're going up to to 40 uh, downloads you know, you can see it's it it still gives you the two digits when you get up to and into actual double digit numbers. And then also, you know, let's say for example, you know, our first file that we're downloading downloading ends in a dash one. Well, with what we have selected here, it's beginning with a dash zero. All we need to do is kick this up to one, and boom, that makes our first starting digit uh, number one. And then you know it'll just download these, download these in sequence. Now it only does three at a time. It'll download three at a time, but the other the the following ones they will be set up in a queue. And as these files download, it'll just move on to the next one, move on to the next one, and so on. So if you got a you know a ton of files to uh, to download and they're all in sequence, this will work out for you pretty well. So the last thing I want to talk about is the scheduler because, you know, if you've got a lot of downloading to do, you may want it going on, I don't know, maybe at night when you're asleep or, you know, if you've got a, you know, your job is Monday through Friday, the 9 to 5, maybe you want the downloads going on while you're at work, you know, and, and you know, you're not trying to compete uh, with the downloader to for, for your internet. So... Let's go into, we'll go to edit and down to settings. And then once you're into settings, you can come down to the scheduler and we'll enable the scheduler. And, you know, by default, everything, you know, it's going to download anytime. Um, let's say for, let's, let's go with the example of, um, you know, you, you only want the downloads going on while you're at work. Okay, so um, let's go and we'll, first of all, we'll make everything, we'll turn everything off. So you can go and you don't have to just click each block individually. You know, you can drag and drop, that kind of thing. You just keep dragging your mouse across, get it all whited out. Okay, so we'll go with the... We'll go with the kind of Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 is when we're going to download. So just kind of pointing on a block, you, know, you can see that the uh, each block, it, it, you know, it begins at, uh, at midnight, essentially. So let's come on over to, let's try to find 9. Okay, so there's 9, 10, 11, 12, blah, blah, blah. All right, and there's five in the evening, so that's Friday. We're going to move on all the way on up to Monday, and now we can just fill in. All 
All right, so uh, you know we we as long as our computer is turned on, uh, you know it will automatically do all the downloads at that particular time. Uh, and you know you can make the schedule whatever you want, or you know not use a scheduler and let it run all the time, or you know however you want to do that. But the scheduler is nice. Like I said, if you got uh, especially if you got maybe a slow internet connection, and uh, you know you got a bunch of downloads that you want to do don't want it interfering with being able to cruise the net and watching YouTube and all that kind of stuff, um, the scheduler might help you out. Well, that just about finishes things up here. As always, got any questions, comments, all that kind of stuff, leave it down below and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, coming up soon on this channel, um, I'm going to be switching my main desktop over to KDE Neon, so I'll have a little bit about that, probably a little bit of a review on KDE Neon, and then show I'm going to set up my desktop, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, not that there's anything wrong with uh, regular Ubuntu, it's just that, uh, you know, if you saw my, my video on, uh, on uh, one month with Ubuntu 1604, uh, you know, I'm just ready for something different. Uh, I'm, I'm a mega distro hopper and um, uh, you know uh, about a month or so into things and I, I've got the bug to try something new again so anyway I think I'm uh, I've been playing around with KDE neon in the uh, in virtual box it seems to run pretty well on my system so uh, I think I'm going to install that as my main distro and uh, see how it works out and uh, I'll let you know how things how things go Anyway, uh, hope to see you all in the next video. Uh, see you then.